Okay, so we're back here now. I've let the the marks on the the fabric dry, particularly the sort of the touche areas. Um, so I've made sure there's no residual moisture. And what we're going to do now is similar principle to most most lithography. I'm just going to dust it with a bit of French chalk or talc in my case, um, and it just stops sm uh, marks smudging when you apply the wet gum. And I've got a going to pat it over because you're working with fabric rather than the surface of a stone or um, aluminium plate or metal plate as I keep reiterating you're working with a weave of the fabric so you've got to be quite gentle with all the marks you make just make sure everything's got a nice covering and I've got a my damp gum sponge here which I'm going to this is natural gum arabic, I try and get the natural one. I'm just pouring a blob in a, as best I can in an area that hasn't got any marks. And this is a case of patting it on because those who work with fabric will know that sometimes it's also easier to put it on your sponge. Will know that the fabric will absorb the gum. And so it's going to go through both sides of the fabric. So you kind of have to pat it over. It will use a lot more gum than the mocolito or a more traditional lithographic technique. I found the patting seems to work well, um, so that's what I'm sticking with. <laughs> Obviously, if you find a find another method of applying the gum, then please do so. Over areas such as the touche marks, just be very gentle because you really don't want to smudge it into the weave of the cloth. So lots of patting. Make sure the gum gets everywhere. It will obviously seep through to the other side of the, the cloth, but that's not a not a problem. Great. But down here. So it's a case of just gently working it, no rush. Gently make sure everything has got a covering of gum arabic. And that now needs to be left to dry and to etch and to stabilise for a few days. If you can, ideally sort of leave it for a week. Try once the gum is dry, I would advise covering it with a sort of sheet of paper um, just to prevent any sort of residual dust or anything in the atmosphere settling on it and just leave that for a week. Now I've just got here, just sort of give people a, an idea of what's happening. This is a um, cloth lithograph I tried earlier. You can see you can see very definite cloth marks of the, the fray, fraying edges on the bottom, but it produces, it, it creates this really sort of object-like quality. And obviously the edges are, will go into later when we print up. But you can see how beautifully it actually really reflects. This was a, a Touche wash, got some crayon marks down here, um, drawing ink, stamping of some netting, some splattering. It's actually incredibly accurate, and the, the tighter the weave you go of your cloth, the the more sort of the more detail you can get because the, the tighter the weave, the whole it holds more detail. Imagine drawing a very loose hessian; it, it's not going to hold as much de detail as a very tight silk or a cotton in this case. And this, this one was done on exactly the same cotton as this, same pillowcase. And I'm just going to bring in now the Mokolito sort of sample we did. And you can already see the difference in mark making. And it's, it's quite interesting, the cloth obviously picks up this very, you might be able to pick it up on camera, very subtle cloth cloth mark on the background. The Mokolito obviously picks up the wood grain but actually in many ways the cloth responds better to th certain things like especially the, the wash or the touche. It really holds the detail incredibly well and this was a stamp of a leaf. Again you can see all the individual individual veins going on there. Just get that in shot. So very fascinating. So again we'll be going through this process as with the Mokolito, introducing you to the very basics so you have the sort of the, 
the tool set to then go away and experiment as you will. I'm going to leave this for a few days to etch and then we'll be back and we'll be inking it up in black and printing it. So until then, thank you very much.